What's up? What's up? This is your boy, Fifth and Sweat. All right, today we are going to be talking about Bradley Griner. She's been released in a prisoner SWAT. But we also have Marine, retired Marine, uh, Paul Willen, still in jail. All right, let's get it. So, as you all know, for those who are a big basketball fan, today is a day of celebration. Brendan Garner spent 10 months in jail in Russia. Uh, it was a six-year sentence, but she only spent 10 months, you know, for having a vape with marijuana and in her bag while going to the airport. You know, she was convicted. Uh, and we spent 10 months there. Uh, on the other hand, you got... Retired Marine Reservist uh, Paul Willen, that was actually in Russia for a wedding, and he got given a flash drive with the uh, the Russian government said was state secret, you know. But he thought it was he actually thought it was just the wedding pictures, you know. And now everybody believes he was set up. It was a dubious charge. Now both of these charges are completely crap. Okay. People are doing far worse uh, in Russia than than these two things. Okay, so, but again, this is asymmetric warfare. For many of you guys that don't know this, and the Russians are very, very they are expert at this. This is called using people as political pawns, political tool. It's a political game. It's playing okay, and the Russians are very good at it. Sour in division, you know, using the division already within the country. To actually make it grow, make it grow, and make it fester until it explodes, you know, allowing the country to be weak from within, you know. So, big basketball fan, I excited. Of course, you got the people on the right, you got them, and the Republican Party member, the Conservative Party, they are mad, they're angry because they believe, like, you know, they should have fight harder to release their the Marine that surface country. But many of them think, like, you know, Brendan Garner hit the country, and I, you know, you know, I, I don't, you know, the people on the right, they have a lot of issue with people having criticism uh, of America. You know, any kind of criticism, any refusal to honor any national symbol to them, even in protest of something they see that has a hatred for the American government, the hatred for the United States of America. And that's what you're going to hear. Any conservative podcast, you're going to, any conservative content creator, you're going to hear. They're free, you know, they let and the Marine right in jail while they free a woman that hate America. Now, just because she protests during the national anthem because of police brutality does not actually mean she hates America. You know, it is okay to have, be criticized, to criticize this country and not hate this country. All right. There's a lot of bad that has gone, that's happened at the hands of this country, even to this citizen, especially his black American citizens. Okay, so protest, protesting peacefully out there should be welcome, but you know, we we are not doing identity politics. You know, that's one of the that's gonna be one of the big reasons why I believe uh and uh, the, the Biden administration I fought so hard to get her versus not fighting so much for, you know, a forty Two year, 40, 42 year old white man, you know, that, that does not fit well within the Democrat Party what to do when it comes to political. Uh, now, a gay black woman athlete, yeah, you see, that fits perfectly within the Biden administration uh, path to become, a, be all, to be politically correct, to be all identity politics. So I don't know why anybody's surprised. I'm not surprised. You know, I'm not surprised he chose her and fought a little harder. Now, also, I'm not surprised that the, and that the Russian way agreed to this so easily, because the Russian, the, the, the guy that free was a, a new arms dealer. He's a nobody. He wasn't, you know, there's nothing special about him. So the Russian didn't really care, right? But they do care to to uh, about creating division within this country, and you know, pitting each us against each other. They know the Biden administration would have went after Brendan Grounder. Because it's a better political statement, it's a better political move than a, a a marine. Now, of course, it's on the opposite side. You're going to have the conservative movement, the Republican Party, 
that's going to say this is a complete betrayal of a man that served his country, you know, but let's not forget this man was actually trying to convict of larceny while he was in the military. Okay, so he left out one of dishonor and like a dishonorable discharge or all of the honorable discharge. So it's not like he was a model Marine, right? As a reservist, he did he did serve as a deputy sheriff. So, you know, we got to look at that aspect too, you know. But for me, I personally believe this was, uh, again, on the Russian side, it was politically motivated. On the Biden, uh, within the Biden administration, it was also politically motivated. Uh, motivator, you know, because the simple idea is the man I spending about four years in jail for the dubious crime that was illegitimate versus a woman that spent only 10 months there for even less a crime, right? Logic would dictate you go after the man that has been doing hard labor um, and that you already, that has already did his time, you know, but the Russian was going to fight a little harder for him. You know, they're even treating this case a little differently, you know, because they say, uh, or because of the crime, right? By the end of the day, it's just geopolitics. It's just, as, it's asymmetric warfare. The Russian knows holding an American uh, service member, retired service member, it's a big political tool, and they're going to use this. You know, nothing is non negotiable. They can negotiate. They could have negotiated for him, you know, but it's easier for them to give the Biden administration what they want create division within our country, you know, have the American people shift their attention to something more, like, you know, useless, you know, and this is all going to, this is going to play out on the, the grind Ukraine, you know, so my, my, my point of view is, you know, one, I don't think Brendan Garner hates America. I think she's critical of America. You know, I think she's going to use her, her platform to protest British brutality, to protest and, and, and highlight uh, social injustice in this country. Okay, I have seen no evidence of her being hateful towards America. Just because she refused to kneel to stand during the national anthem does not make it does not make it hateful. Okay, so I see that. Now, on the other hand, I believe there was a bad trade. I think that and the, now, I don't think the Russian would have gone for the trade for this arms dealer that's a nobody right now. Not not for uh, Paul anyway, you know. But I think the Biden administration should have fought a little harder for him, especially he's already been there for four years, almost four years. You know, that that's absolutely um, immoral to me. You know, they pick the easy political win over the moral win, you know. Uh, and, and that's not right, uh, especially looking at, you know, Biden and uh, President Biden is the commander-in-chief, essentially leaving a, a service member in the hands of an enemy, that we are actively engaged in asymmetric warfare. We're supporting Ukraine, providing arms and money to fight the Russians. So there's not to be surprised about this, you know. Uh, so that that's what I look at. And, you know, the Russians are very smart. They know this was going to play out just the way it's playing out. You know, they see it. They knew the, the, the Biden administration because of the political decision he's been making. This is very consistent. You know, the Biden administration choosing people simply based on our color, you know, yeah, pretty much bringing us down to a single denominator, a single aspect of who we are. You know, within the, 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 the left now, the Democrat Party, you are nothing more than your color, you know, or your sex, your gender, you know, and this woman fits the bill, you know. Black, gay, you know, athlete. All three fits within the political uh, uh, move, the current political uh, atmosphere of the of the Democrat Party right now. You know, uh, and to me, I don't. I think it's a bad look. You know, uh, uh, to mm-hmm. the girl have not done much of anything. You know, she has not spent a lot of time there. She only spent there ten months. You know, for a crime she actually committed. You know, they actually she was caught right-handed. So, ever to come in the terms of committing a crime, she committed a crime. You know, was the was the charge uh, uh, right? No, it was definitely disproportional. Six years, absolutely, absolutely unnecessary. But another thing that we, that I, that we should remember that is absolutely mind-boggling. So stupid. 
they'd made a trade for a woman that had the small amount of marijuana vape cartilage, right? We got people in America right now that are in jail for the exact same thing that has not been released. They will release a woman in another foreign country over a retired reservist Marine okay, that we know have a dubious charge. Okay, do nothing at all about his case made sense. It was a complete setup. Everybody has essentially agreed. Okay, and the Biden administration jump on this to bring her home to free her of our injustice. But there are no injustice. There are no outcry for her justice in America when we have people right now in the States riding in jail because of marijuana charges of the same amount she had over there. You know, so it's like, you know, the the, the political, the Democrat party, the politi- political left, you know, they get to eat that cake, make that cake and eat it too. You know, they get to choose, pick and choose when they want to be morally right, when they want to be politically right. You know, they will focus on a woman that committed a crime in the country with marijuana and fight for a negotiation, release her, but it will not do anything to release the people in America that is sitting in jail right now because of marijuana charges. Why we have states already legalizing it, you know, so again, it is not right. I wouldn't have made the trade. I would have hold out a little better. Maybe, I mean, the Russian would have ask for also stop sending some kind of aid, especially like anti-aircraft and the weapon system. We could have actually negotiated maybe six months, hold on resupply for the the recruiting the Ukrainian, but we didn't do that. You know, uh, this man is in poor health. He's doing hard labor. You know, Brittany Gardner didn't actually do any hard labor. There was no indication she got sent to a hard labor camp. Uh, Paul is actually in a hard labor camp. You were working in a sweatshop, you know, so I, I believe it was the wrong trade. You know, at the end of the day, of course, her family are, is happy. Paul's family is heartbroken, and I believe in, in the military community see that as a betrayal. I myself see it as a betrayal, but, you know, those on the on the left, the Democrat Party see that as a win. So, uh, again, the Russian wins at the end of the day. Only, the only winner in this case is, of course, Brittany. She's free with her family, you know, and the Russians. That's it. Paul and his family are heartbroken, disappointed. You know, their, their, their military community is going to be heartbroken, disappointed. You know, and, and, of course, the Republican Party is going to be heartbroken and disappointed. And they're tier two are going to play their own uh, identity politics. You know, so you got identity politics being played on both the left and the right. You know, they're seeing her as an unpatriotic, somebody that hate America, you know, and they see him as a, you know, an American patriot, a man that served his country, completely negating the fact that he was actually, you know, he was actually, he committed a crime and he was kicked out of the military. That part is not going to play well to that narrative. So they're going to play the fact that he's a patriot, he's an American citizen, he's a Marine, all of that shit. He's America. Or, you know, that's just identity politics on the right. You know, and you got identity politics on the left. You know, and me and you, we should just see the case for what it is. He spent three years in jail for a dubious crime. He's actually the four year anniversary is coming up. Okay. She was found guilty of a crime that she committed because they have evidence. They called it the vape. You know, the, the, the sentence was completely outrageous. Six years, absolutely outrageous. That's a political movement. That's a political tool being made. You know, so this is what I got. Thank you, guys. Let me know what you think. If you think this is, hey, Emmett, you are wrong. Fifth and Sweat, you are wrong. This is actually a great thing. It was a right choice. Or you thinking like, you know, even though both of them have pretty crappy sentences, uh, he spent more time in jail. Maybe we should have fought for him a little bit harder, you know, instead of her. You know, so leave a comment below and let me know uh, which one would you would rather chose, you know, and let me know, do you think this more of a, there was just a political, you know, a political decision or do you think there was something more to it? Is this identity politics 
I was just uh, if just the only decision that could have been made and um, with the Russians. Thank you guys for everything you do. Thank you for commenting and watching my video. Uh, stay blessed and remember, live a grateful life.